What's up guys? Wooden Yard Junkie here. Uh, just getting ready to open up a package I ordered from uh, Mike Amick. It's the the roller aerator. Um, I bought it because uh, where I'm at no one no one does really aerating around here and uh, I don't normally aerate but this year I want to overseed some Mazama um, Kentucky Bluegrass and uh, I figure why not just purchase this and do it myself instead of buying a bulky machine um, so uh, the wheel did come today still waiting on the handle I'm hoping it comes by either tomorrow or Friday so yeah guys here's the box that comes in things pretty heavy um, got here pretty quick I did pay a little extra um, this is kind of weird, you know, I think, uh, I don't know if he offers that to everyone, but, um, yeah, he asked if I paid a little extra, he could, he could, uh, get the thing to me, so, so yeah, this is the first time I'm looking at this thing, pretty heavy, um, it is pretty much just a rotor, you know, yep, Mike Amick. A good guy you know I emailed him he answered every question um, I did ask you know quite quite a quite a few things and he's he's definitely backed up and um, he had mentioned something about you know eventually getting a getting a place to to do this because he said these orders were coming in and it was hard for him to keep up so um, kudos to him got this got this before he said well, he said, yeah, he said he had said Wednesday, so it's Wednesday today, um, but my thing said Friday, so I was kind of surprised today to get it, but yeah, there it is. Um, put my hand down for reference, and my hands aren't tidy, but they're not huge either, so yeah, it's just, um, looks like a, a truck rotor or something, you know, just a big rotor, but I got the double rotors, so we're really going to punch this down. Um, punch it in the ground. I have hard, you know, we have clay here and it's kind of hard and and uh, You know being summer. I still got to water some of this stuff in so um, I wanted to get the double wheel I haven't seen any double wheels online. So um, Yeah, I wanted a little little extra weight. I'm a big guy. So I don't mind pushing around pushing that around so um, Yeah, when that handle comes we'll, we'll get this together and then hopefully uh Hopefully it works out real good. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, just out here under the carport, getting ready to assemble this uh, Amic roller aerator. Um, this is what you get in the box. I got the double disc. Um, so yeah, just a metal plate. There's a uh, piece of wood in there wood block and then your tines that and then you get some instructions here so we're going to follow the instructions and do this little by little get it done so Loosen the small nuts holding the tines in place. Remove the tines. Remove the axle from one of the tines. All right, let's get this done. So this is the other step. You got one of the tines in the axle. There's uh, nuts on each end of the axle. So um, it looks like I'm going to have to Take this one all the way out unless I can wiggle this out of there but yeah this one you have to take all the way out undo both bolts and uh, take the time out of that out of the, uh, the axle so the next step here is Put the tines back in the opposite way they came out. 
Position the notch groove under the U-bolt loop prior to retightening. Loop must be squarely seated in the notch to prevent tines from slipping out. Tighten evenly. When correctly done, the tips of the tines will be two inches out from the disc edge. Mount all tines. So that's the next step. Um, in a lot of the videos, I don't remember people even saying anything about these notches. So I don't know if he's just added these or what, but each one has a notch. Like so. So that's where uh, that's where it goes in the shoe bolt. So you now we'll attach these and and then go on to the next step. All right, guys, we got all the tines in. Uh, each tine, um, each U bolt is sitting in the little notch in these tines. Um, don't over tighten them. He said. Um, you know, thin steel, you don't want to bend it. Um, I did find one time that, um, it's kind of jaggered on the end. I'm not sure. Let me, let me flip this around. Oh yeah, when you're doing it, put it on a piece of cardboard. Just put it on the box that he sent you. That way you're not jacking these tines up. Let me find this tine real quick. Um. This one tine right here, it's kind of jaggered up. Kind of got dinged on the end. I hope um, that doesn't affect it. But yeah, one. One end's all jaggered up, but we'll see. I found, you know, online, I'm sure there's many places you can get these little aerator um, tines. So if we ding one up, We'll uh, replace it. So on to the next step. Let's see what we got next. Take the axle, screw a nut on one end so three force extends past the nut. Poke that three force inch end into the hole in the wood block and stand the axle up like a tree. Side one end of the steel plates down the axle put the main disc on the next so we'll see what we got going on here so this is your axle screw alright guys so yeah you got it is three quarters of an inch on that side, three quarters of an inch on this side. This block is to gauge it, so it should be right at the edge of this block. Go on this side, right at the edge of the block. So that's three quarters of an inch, and then tighten down easily, evenly from there. Um, make we yeah, we got to make sure these are straight now. So. Um, yeah, I think he's he's wanting to put that block on there, flip it over, tighten this side, do the same for the other side. So we'll put that block on this side, and then we'll lay it flat again and start tightening now that um, everything's about the same spaces on, on these bolts. And these bolts are, I've used a three quarter of an inch. It's just what I grabbed, so my sockets are metric and standard, so three quarters of an inch, tighten this down. You know, fill it with your hands. Everything seems lined up straight, flat. So um, we'll flip it over, do the other side. Just keep tight and make sure everything's uh, tight. And then we'll stand it up and then we'll tighten both at the same time. All right, guys, finished with that portion. Everything seems lined up and uh, got the tines on just tight enough. Um, got everything kind of centered the axle bolts about three quarters on each side so well we're good to go on this so what I'm going to do is just lay this flat and then hopefully my uh, 
yep we'll just lay this flat on this uh well, box with this on it and then hopefully the handle comes today it said it was going to so yep that's the amic uh roller roller aerator roller aerator um the guy's super nice i did you know bug him I was kind of bugging him about when things would show up because um i didn't didn't want to start my uh, overseed if if I wasn't going to get this on time so um, it was kind of crucial that I keep in touch with him and see when I was going to get it um, I did pay a little extra but I literally got it this wheel in three days and then uh, the other piece I think it's going to be end up being four days if it gets here today so you know some people saying three months and stuff but I think if if you pay a little extra, he may give it to you. He may not. I don't know. But uh, I know the guy's super busy, and uh, yeah, we'll see how this thing does. I've been watering the lawn. It's supposed to rain today um, and tomorrow, so I probably really should wait till Monday to aerate because the lawn will be nice and uh, soft. But I'll definitely give it a go today if I get the handle. So. Yeah, pretty easy to put together, guys. Um, I did get the double. I did not get the single. The singles, um, pretty easy too. I'm sure it's just the um, the axles uh, a little more narrow. So, yeah, easy to put together. Follow the instructions. Use this video to help you. Um, steel plates on the outside, uh, three quarter inch out. Don't over tighten these tines. Um, put them where the marks are at or the notches are at and you should be good to go all right guys i end up getting the handle today so uh i think it's pretty straightforward from here you just put it in the side here each one of these goes into there so that's pretty self-explanatory but we'll uh we'll put that together then I'll show you guys the finished product and hopefully we can use it um, tomorrow after it rains a little bit more. Well guys, just got done pushing this big dog. It's definitely a workout. Um, I did lose the tine while I was going. Um, all the tines were snug, so I'm not sure why that one popped out, but it did. So I just kept going because once one pops out, yeah, uh, you have to take all the side plates back off at the uh, top. The gap doesn't fit, so the time won't fit out the top. So instead of wasting time doing that, I figured I'd just finish the yard up. We're supposed to get rain in an hour, so I wanted to get that down, get this all done, and uh, get some seed down. So, so yeah, it did pretty good. Um, this is fresh wet, so um, definitely left some holes. Did plug some some places left some plugs but uh some of it was pretty wet as you can see but overall it did a good job um here's one of the plugs right there is and i have heavy clay soil and i just uh watered the last couple couple nights and then uh um it rained a little bit today so that definitely helped um so yeah um i don't mind i don't mind i can use it every year and i think uh it's definitely a workout um but i've been working all day so so yeah two thumbs up it definitely saved me from um trying to find someone that could aerate and as you can see right now the yard looks bad but Give me a couple months and this it'll look amazing so yeah guys that's the amic uh roller rollerator so check it out it's definitely it is expensive but you know if you're going to use it every year a couple times a year um it pays for itself in a few years so check it out guys let me know what you think Yep, just uh, take your three-quarter inch 
socket and once you get it on there just keep tightening it up and and that's it so I'll tighten this side up and then tighten this other side up easy peasy get this back in uh, snug it and that's it that's it guys pretty easy straightforward and uh we might take it out to the front lawn and try it out but yeah it's pretty easy um hopefully i got enough rainfall to uh make it dig into the ground so yeah just want to make a video on how to put this together that's a little a little more accurate a little uh more precise so that's it for now uh I'll keep you guys updated on how it works and We'll go from here.